Hey, it's Pastor Jared. Just wanted to reach out to everyone and give you some information about some things that are happening uh, in, in the life of our church family here at Mackey Church of the Nazarene. Let me jump through some of them quickly and then let, and then I will kind of uh, elaborate on, on some of the information that I give you. Number one, I want you to be aware that there have been some people connected to our church family who have tested positive for COVID-19. Um, out of the abundance of caution, number two, uh, we had an uh, online-only service this, this past Wednesday, and uh, after con consulting with our local church board and leadership, we have decided that this Sunday, October the 18th, for both campuses, in the a.m. and the p.m. services, uh, we'll all be online, and uh, the uh, next Wednesday, October the 25th, uh, service will also be only online via YouTube and Facebook Live. So I want you to be aware of that. Um, number three, uh, we uh, pre-COVID, uh, we had in person uh, around 400 people just at Mackey campus who were worshiping with us and over 400 if you include our Owensville campus. And, uh, and when you have that many people gathering together as a church body, you have a, a wide variety of opinions, preferences, uh, levels of concern and approach toward COVID-19 safety and, and the like. Some of our church family are extremely concerned about uh, COVID-19 and some have little concern. Uh, so in light of these differences, and that's the reality that as a pastor and as a church, we wanna minister all of our church family as effectively as we reasonably can. Uh, we have decided to make some changes as we get back into the groove of in-person worship on October 25th, all right? So on October 25th, uh, there'll be a little bit of a new format, uh, primarily at Mackey campus, okay? This will not affect Owensville campus. They will continue as they are, uh, but at Mackey campus, I want you to be aware of what's going on. So what we're doing is we're gonna transition back to um, the service schedule that we had before, uh, before COVID hit. So 9.30 Sunday school for all ages, children, teens, adults, uh, 10.30 worship service, uh, nursery, Sunday school, or uh, children's church, and then 6 p.m. worship service and, and the like. However, in addition to that, we will also have a nine o'clock service. So the nine o'clock a.m. on Sunday service at Mackey campus will now be a mask required service. So there's a variety of perspectives across the, our church family uh, on, on the issue of mask and what levels of safety. So what we are going to do at 9 a.m. on Sundays, if you have some concerns about COVID, if you, or if you feel like uh, a mask and everyone needs to wear a mask or you have any kind of concerns along that line, this service will be for you. So some of our church family is already coming and wearing masks and maybe they have that concern. And they, that, so the 9 a.m. service will be a mask only service, okay? We also will be the first service of the day. So our, our, we have a great custodial team. Um, uh, Phil and Debbie work, work tirelessly to keep our church not only clean, but also now sterile. So they do a great work doing that. And so on at nine o'clock, everything's gonna be sterilized. When you come in, the greeters will have a mask on, the pastoral staff will have mask on. Everybody who's attending at nine o'clock worship service will have mask on. And we're gonna take every reasonable precaution that we can to ensure uh, that what we can do reasonably to, to, to keep things sterile and safe. Uh, are there. So I'd like to encourage you, if you have not been back to worship with us in person yet uh, because of your concerns about mask wearing or other precautions, I want to invite you to come back on Sunday, October 25th for our in-person worship service at 9 a.m. So this is specifically for those who uh, are wanting to be sensitive to safety precautions at 9 a.m. Well, that's, that's there, all right? So we're gonna do everything that we can to make you aware of what's going on and, and keep things as safe as possible, all right? So that's what's going on there. There will be no nursery, no children's church during that time. Um, Sunday school will, will now start at 9.30. So if you come to that 9 a.m. service, the idea is that, that, that people who, who don't wanna wear a mask or will not be wearing a mask, 
uh, will not, uh, that there won't be interaction, okay? So they'll come in after the service has started, and then that's nine o'clock service will go from nine to about 9.45 or 9.50, and they will be dismissed, and they will uh, exit out of the sanctuary at Mackey Campus uh, directly into the front parking lot, okay? So you'll come in the front doors, and you will exit at the end of that service out that side door of the sanctuary so that you can go directly and get in your vehicle and, uh, and, and continue to remain socially distanced, okay? So this is, this is an important change for us uh, and, uh, and with what's going on at 9 a.m. and then 10.30 a.m. at Mackey Campus. Uh, moving into the future, Sunday evening, 6 p.m., Wednesdays at 7 p.m., will continue to go along as they have been, unless, and every ministry, unless otherwise specified. So that 9 a.m. service is a specific uh, service uh, that we wanna, we wanna uh, just do everything that we can uh, for those who, who have, uh, have concerns or, and or uh, want to want up the just safety protocols, all right? So we're trying to do that going above and beyond it as, as much as we reasonably can. So let me give you, just kind of flush some of that out. Let me give you, at this point, some of what I would say is your responsibilities of being a part of our church family. Uh, number one, uh, your responsibility outside of the 9 a.m. service, but even there as well, uh, to a lesser extent at 9 a.m., is that you, you use your discretion, your personal judgment in attending like the 10.30 a.m. service, okay? So use your judgment, use discernment, what your level of comfortability is. If you're, if you're not comfortable with some people not wearing masks around you, you need to come to the 9 a.m. service because that is the service where we are mandatory mask, where there is a mandatory mask requirement. If, if you are part of our church family and you test positive for COVID-19, I'd like to ask you if you would uh, to let Pastor Bill or myself know. Uh, you, your name, your identity will be kept confidential, but we would like to know so that if there are other people we need to make aware that they've been around someone uh, who had tested positive just so they can test or they can quarantine or whatever, we can do that. So if you do test positive, uh, please let us know. Again, we will guard uh, your your privacy, your comp uh, your identity, and it will be confidential. We don't make names public. We just make cases uh, people aware of. We will only make people aware of cases uh, of, of people who tested positive. So no names. We, we do feel strong about confidentiality. Then number three, um, we just ask that you show kindness. If, you, if you've been around someone or you know someone who has COVID-19 inside or outside of our church family, uh, show them kindness. Nobody's going around trying to get COVID-19, even though there may be a differing opinion about the approach to being in public uh, that you might have with them. Show, show, show kindness, show compassion toward them. Let's hold them up in prayer if they have COVID-19 uh, for their quick and speedy recovery and their healing. And, uh, and then continue to be gracious. One of the things that's difficult in the climate of the world around us is that we be gracious to, to one another because there's lots of different convictions that we're bringing to the table in terms of our response to COVID-19 right now. So just be gracious to other people who may have different convictions than you about that. Uh, then the responsibility of me, uh, the pastor, the church, is that we would make, we'll make our best effort to uh, consider everyone's personal convictions related to issues concerning uh, COVID-19. That's why uh, we are going to have a 9 a.m. mask required service because we want to recognize that there are some folks who feel strongly about that. And that's why we're not requiring it at the 10.30 a.m. per the governor's exemption for religious organizations uh, because we want to recognize there is a variety, a wide variety of opinion and perspective about that issue particularly and other issues related to uh, precautions um, um, with COVID-19. So we want to be gracious to other people and as a church we're going to try, we want to minister to everybody and regardless of where you might come down on that issue, uh, we care about you. We want you to be able to worship with us in person. And so we're trying to reach out. So I'd encourage you, if you have not been back yet or you have been back and you're uneasy about some things uh, and you want to play it safe, 
then that 9 a.m. service is for you. I want to encourage you to be a part of that, all right? Then number two in terms of the church's responsibility is we, we, will, we will begin to make, to make aware of just the number of people connected to our church family. That does not mean that they've necessarily been to church, uh, but we will make you aware of uh, people who, uh, not the names, but the number of people who have tested positive in the life of our church. We will make, uh, just give that information out uh, to the church family as just a number. So that's a raw number. You, you, you can do with that what you want uh, because we're not going to tell you what people uh, have it specifically just for their privacy, obviously, and other considerations there. But we will, uh, we will try to let you have that information so you can make decisions about in-person and other things. Also, uh, there's been some questions about this. Uh, we will not make membership lists or attenders names uh, we will not we will not release that information to any government entity. All right. So there have been some questions that I fielded in terms of are you giving out membership list names? Are you giving out the names of people attending to government entities? And uh, just to clarify a couple things, we've not been asked to give that information out, and we will not give that information out. Uh, the fact that you worship here is uh, is something that is not not information for the public. Obviously, when you're here, there's other people who see you, and what they do with that information is up to them. But as a church, we do not give that information out. And then fourth and finally, uh, in terms of what the, your church family, uh, as a pastor, and as a church, what we're doing is uh, for that 9 a.m. service, we are, we are doing everything that we reasonably can to uh, take precautions. Uh, it, obviously, there's no 100% proof uh, a way that we can prevent anyone from ever getting COVID-19 or that would have been done somewhere already. So we can't guarantee that obviously, but we are letting you know, we are taking every reasonable precaution that we can for the 9 a.m. service to make sure that uh, you can feel as comfortable as possible at Sundays, 9 a.m. at Mackey Campus. All right, so I wanna give you that information. If you have questions about this information, you can contact me directly. I'm welcome for that. If you have other suggestions, if, uh, if there's things that you don't like about what I've shared today, uh, just let me know. But in summary, um, this Sunday, October 18th, all of our services will be online, 9 a.m., 6 p.m., online uh, service. And then next Wednesday at 7 p.m., we'll have an online service. We will not have in-person services over this next Sunday and Wednesday, October 18th and October the 25th. However, we will begin having uh, in-person services with the new format on October the 25th, all right? So this is for both campuses, for uh, Mackey Church of the Nazarene. I wanna leave you with, with this last thought. One of the things that has been difficult uh, for me as a pastor, but also, and more importantly, as a Christian, and I think that you will share this if, if, if you have a heart for the, for the kingdom work, is that the great commission that Jesus left with the disciples and ultimately the church of Jesus Christ that goes down to today, that great commission has not been put on hold. We still, as God's people, have a responsibility to engage the world for Jesus. And while that means that we're gonna have to adapt and we're gonna have to, to, to work out some things and figure out how we're gonna do that, it does not mean that we can sit down on the job. We cannot quit being a great commission people. It is the spirit of Christ that empowers us, that guides us, that equips us, and that leads us in that endeavor. Uh, the words of Jesus are still true. The harvest is plentiful. And so we have to move forward. We cannot sit down. We cannot hide. We cannot live in fear that decapacitates our ability to be obedient to the call of God and the great commission Jesus has given the church. And so I want to encourage you today, if you've been part of the church, even coming back uh, and uh, uh, in person, uh, I want to encourage you that we can't sit on the sidelines. We've got to be a great commission people. If you have not returned to in-person gatherings at this point, I hope that you would hear our, our desire to, to take the next step of saying, we're gonna have this 9 a.m. service and we're gonna institute as many precautions as, as, reasonably, as we reasonably can 
to, to help those feel comfortable to be able to come back. I would encourage you to jump back in and not just in attendance, but do not forget, we are still a Great Commission people. The call of God is still real, it's still pertinent, and there's still a harvest that is plentiful. People still need Jesus. And the greatest concern, uh, it, it's always a tragedy when life ends, whatever the cause of that life to end. But the greatest tragedy that anyone could ever know is going into eternity without knowing Jesus Christ. Let's be a Great Commission people. Let's move forward. Let's allow the Spirit to guide us as we endeavor, not just to have church, but to be the church in the world today. I'm Pastor Jared. God bless you. And may, the, may the peace and the presence of Jesus Christ abide with you powerfully.